I am Andil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. Now, at this stage, when you have just learned about derivatives, you have learned the power rule of derivatives. I am sharing with you three important questions. Now, these examples require a kind of reverse calculations. Let's go through these examples. Question number one here is determine the value of k for which the function 4x square minus kx plus 6 has a horizontal tangent at a given point x equals to 0 0.5. Now in this, the equation is something which you need to figure out. You are given the slope. Horizontal tangent means that the derivative value is 0. Correct? So a reverse calculation. That's what we're trying to say. So in test papers, you'll often see at least one question which will be of this kind and therefore it is important to pay attention to it. Question number two here is determine the value of a, b and c for f of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c so that f of 2 is minus 1 and the derivative at x any point is 6x minus 3. So when we say f dash x it is a function okay and that one is a value. So the derivative as a function is 6x minus 3. Question number three is extremely important it says the flight path of a spacecraft is represented by the parabola y equals to x square. If the engine is shut down at the point P, the spacecraft will fly off along the tangent line at P. If the spacecraft is moving from left to right, at what point should the engine be shut down in order for it to reach the point 47? Now all these questions are from previous test papers and therefore I think they should be watched very carefully. Now let us see how to solve them one by one. At present what you have learned is very simple stuff and that is if a function f of x is a x to the power of n then the derivative f dash x is basically n times a x to the power of n minus 1. So that's the only thing which you have learned so far and using this we should be in a position to answer the three questions. Correct? Let's move on and take the very first question here. It says determine the value of k for which the function has a horizontal tangent line. So when I say horizontal tangent line, that means what? That means at that point a, this slope, that means f dash a is 0. That's what it means. So it is already given at x equals to 0 0.5. So the value of a is 0 0.5. So what are we given here? We are given that the derivative of the function at x equals to 0 0.5 is 0. So that gives you one equation. And that's what you need to find the value of k. There is only one unknown. Correct? So from this, we should be in a position to solve. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Correct? Okay. So basically, we are given the function f of x as equal to 4x squared minus kx plus 6. Its derivative, using the power rule which you've learned, is 8x minus k, right? That is 0. And now we are saying that the derivative at 0 0.5 is basically 8 times 0 0.5 minus k and this value is 0 since it is horizontal that is given right so so half of 8 is 4 minus k and that gives you the value of k as equal to 4 does make sense to you clear so that is how you're going to solve it clear so let's move on and find the solution for the next question Question number two is, determine the value of a, b and c for the given equation, which is a quadratic equation, general form, so that f of 2 is minus 1 and the derivative is 6x minus 3. So we have three unknowns, right? So let's try to think about it. We have three unknowns. So that means we need three equations. 
do we have three equations let's see so first we are given the function which is ax square plus bx plus c and says that f of 2 is minus 1 so when I say f of 2 I mean replace x with 2 so we get 2 square so we get a times 2 square okay plus b times 2 plus c f of 2 is minus 1 so this is minus 1 equals to 4a plus 2b plus c so we get one equation right so let's call this as our equation number one now the second thing which we are given here is that the derivative is 6x minus 3 well let's find the derivative now derivative of this function using the power rule will be 2ax plus b now we are saying this derivative actually is 6x minus 3 well so so from equation number 2 very clearly we can find by comparison a and b right so we are saying 2a should be equal to 6 right so coefficient of x which is 2a and 6 they are same right and b and minus 3 should be same correct so just compare so when you do that you get 2a equals to 6 or a equals to 6 over 2 which is 3 on the other side b is minus 3 so we get both the values right so we get a equals to 3 and b equals to minus 3 right so we have both these values now okay now we have to find c so we'll substitute these values call them equation 3 for us so now we'll do substitute 3 in 1 so minus 1 equals to 4 times a is 3 plus 2 times b is minus 3 plus c well so that gives you 12 and this is minus 6 bring them all to the left side okay so so we'll write uh, let's say minus 6 becomes plus 6 minus 12 minus 1 equals to c right so that means minus 7 so we get the value of c as equal to minus 7 does it make sense to you right so if i write 12 minus 6 which is plus 6 minus 7 will give me minus 1 so it works so now we get our equation so in this example you saw how we work backwards to find the value of our function rather equation of our function so that becomes 3 x square minus 3 x minus 7 now you can verify that this derivative is 6 x minus 3 you can also verify that if you substitute 2 here you should get minus 1 that is how we got the value of c does it make sense to you so that is the way to solve it perfect now let's take the last example I've seen this in many test papers like here right so we'll try to understand the concept and solve it the question here is the flight path of a spacecraft is represented by the parabola y equals to x square if the engine is shut down at the point P the spacecraft will fly off along the tangent line at P if the spacecraft is moving from left to right at what point should the engine be shut down in order for it to reach the point 4 7 you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions right so let's sketch the scenario and understand the concept first so let us say uh, we have x y coordinates here I'll sketch a parabola y equals to x square. Let's say this is a parabola y equals to x square. Right. The diagrams are good enough to solve these questions. Now, the object is moving from left to right, which is spacecraft. You want to reach a point which is 4, 7, right? So, let us say somewhere here 4. Now 4 squared is 16, so which is pretty high, so 7 will be somewhere in between, right? So if you have to reach there, in that case, 
uh, the tangent could be something like this, right? Something like this, okay. Let's say that's the point, which is 4, 7. So that's the point, right? So let's call this point as Q. Now we are interested in finding this point P where the engine should be shut off because then it will move tangentially and reach that point. That's the whole idea. Coordinates of point Q are 4, 7. Is that clear to you? All right? Now I hope the situation is absolutely clear. You can pause the video and answer. Okay. Now we are given the function y equals to x squared. So the derivative of this function will be 2x. At point P, we don't know what this point is. Let this point be x value of A, right? Now if x is A, since the graph is y equals to x squared, the y value will be A squared, correct? So, so at x equals to A, the slope of this tangent will be 2A. Is that clear? So that is the slope of the tangent at P, right? So this is what it is. So we can write this as slope of tangent at P, which is A, A square. Perfect. So I hope this much is clear to you. So from the derivative, we kind of get the slope. Now, you can also find slope between P and Q using what you already know, right? Which is slope M is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Now, in this case, 4, 7 is the point where you want to reach. A, A square is the point where the engine has been shut out. So, so it is what? It is equal to 7 minus a square or you could write a square minus 7 as you wish. Let's write this as a square minus 7 over change in x value a minus 4. Now this slope is the slope of the tangent line which we have already worked out is 2a. So we get an equation which is 2a equals to a square minus 7 over a minus 4. Is that clear? Since this slope, right, 2a, should be your slope m. It's the same line. Perfect. Now we have only one variable. We can cross multiply. So we get 2a times a minus 4 equals to a square minus 7. So we get 2a square minus 8a equals to a square minus 7. Now bringing it to the left, we get 2a square minus 8a minus a square plus 7 equals to 0. 2a square minus a square is a square, so a square minus 8a plus 7 equals to 0. Now 7 times 1 and that makes it, so we could factor this as a minus 8 times a minus 1 equals to 0. So we get two possible solutions for A. For them to be 0, either A is equal to 8 or A is equal to 1. Correct? Since this point is before 4, it cannot be 8, right? So that is uh, redundant, right? So A equals to 8 is uh, not possible, correct? We are looking for a point before 4, so that seems to be okay. So A equals to 1 is the right point, correct? So point P should be what? 1 and 1 square, that means point P is 1, 1. Does it make sense to you? So we get our answer, and that is that the engine should be shut off at point P, which is 1, 1. So answer is point P coordinates are 1, 1. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve this question. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and also look into related problems in this playlist. 
Thanks for watching and all the best.